This is very important video for all XRP holders. Keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 120 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future, so be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. Please remember this is not a financial advice video. XRP Can the Digital Euro Destroy Ripple's XRP? US Representative Brad Sherman recently advised the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, to go after crypto exchanges that supported Ripple's XRP token. However, in a recent interaction with Fox Business journalist, Alina Tourette Sherman made another claim against the token. We can unlock the full potential of blockchain technology. When we simplify access to and simplify its use, MasterCard CEO Michael Meech wrote in a LinkedIn post. One way to do this is to bring cryptocurrency into everyday purchases, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse in a tweet on Monday denied accusations by crypto or crypto leaks that he funded a law firm specializing in cryptocurrency run by Kyle Roach to pursue competing crypto firms in lawsuits in order to divert the attention of regulators. I cannot comment on the validity of the many accusations cited here, but I can unequivocally say that I have never met or talked with Kyle Roach much less invested in him. Garland House writes in his tweet, Can't comment on the validity of the slew of allegations in here, but I can unequivocally say that I have never met or spoken to much less invested in Kyle Roach. It is worth noting that in a long blog post containing several short videos in which statements were recorded by Kyle Roach, the founding partner of Roach Friedman, Crypto Leaks claims that Ava Labs, the company behind the Avalanche Network, hired Kyle Roach to file lawsuits against competing firms in order to distract the attention of financial regulators. It is noteworthy that Crypto Leaks accuses the head of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, of lighting the fuse by agreeing to the offer of Roach. At that time, an employee of the firm hired by Ripple to invest in a new law firm that will use the tactics described above. Ava Labs founder Iman Gunsur in response to the accusations called them a ridiculous conspiracy theory. Sir claims that the firm has never engaged in such illegal practice. Lawyer John Dean, the founder of Crypto Law and the representative of the owners of XRP in court, makes a bold prediction about what may happen after the briefings on the summary judgment are made public. He stated when the motions for summary judgment are made public, we will see evidence that we currently do not know about including testimony from Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, co-founder Chris Larson, Ripple CTO David Schwartz, and former Ripple employees. Hinman and other SEC officials, Amy Starr, Valerie S., he also added, I predict that we will see also why it was so important that XRP holders were heard when the summary judgment motions are public. We will see evidence. We are currently unaware of including testimony from it. B. Garlinghouse at Chris Larson, SF at Joel Katz and former at Ripple employees. The deadline for submitting applications for summary judgment is September 13th. By October 18th, complaints are anticipated. And by November 15th, any objections must be addressed. Before the judge Torres renders a verdict. John Dean, an attorney, accuses SCC Gary Ginsler of severe misuse of authority in his fight against cryptocurrencies and feels that Judge Torres' ruling on expert petitions in a summary judgment may be rendered by March 31, 2023. John Dion, the founder of Crypto Law, criticized the excessive reach of the SEC in an article published on Fox Business. According to Deaton, Gary Ginsler, chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission aggressively sought to expand the agency's powers beyond what is permitted by law. Highly recommended reading one at John Deaton and one's article succinctly articulates. The harm SEC chair at Gary Ginsler continues to do perpetuate towards crypto. The SEC harms investors and creates disorderly markets by not providing regulatory clarity. HTTPS's colon slash slash tco vera one tjjob Moonchaser at Moonchaser 2020 August 21, 2022. He cited how with the exception of congressional action, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFT, the main regulator of investments that are not considered traditional securities has primary responsibility for regulating digital assets. This may mean that the SEC has limited jurisdiction over the cryptocurrency industry. After Howey, Deaton continued, Congress was unable to enact any new legislation that would directly control cryptocurrency. 
This should imply that Congress plans to make the CFTC the industry's de facto regulator. He claims that the chairman of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, Gary Ginsler, utilized this alleged lack of clarity to start a campaign of regulation by enforcement that drove Howey to his breaking point. On his final day of office in December 2020, Jay Clayton started the Ripple lawsuit. The Securities and Exchange Commission, acting as chairman of the SEC, has brought accusations against Ripple officials for allegedly selling XRP in a form that might be considered a hoy security given that the earnings, in accordance with the Securities and Exchange Commission, were utilized to aid the expansion of Ripple's business. As a result, they were required to disclose information about these sales to investors as a public business would do. John Dion previously noted on Twitter that XRP is by far the most important altcoin in the cryptocurrency market. As a result of the SEC actions against him, he pointed out that if Ripple Labs loses the case, it could be dangerous for all other cryptocurrencies as the SEC could mark them as unregistered secure. The current price of XRP for today, you can see yourself on the screens and the trading volume for 24 hours is 1,294,436,065. Us dollars. We are updating our XRP price in us dollars. In real time, XRP has dropped 408% in the last 24 hours. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video goodbye.